welcome to joey stack i am joey and in this video of joey stack we are going to solve a very interesting problem which is to find if a string is k palindrome there is a string which is given to you and that string is a b c d e c b a and there is a variable k which is given to you the value of uh, which is 2 you need to determine or find if this string is a k palindrome or not now you would be asking what is a k palindrome so a k palindrome means that this string can this be converted into a palindrome by removing two characters from it that is the value of k so let me reiterate can this string str1 be converted into a palindrome by removing k characters from it that is the problem statement of k palindrome now take a look here we have a b c t e c a the string given to us and if i remove b and e then i get a palindrome so the value of k which is 2 if i remove k characters from this string then i get a palindrome so the answer has to be true for our problem now let's solve this problem of k palindrome using dynamic programming so we'll move to the framework where we are going to begin solving this problem this is a very interesting problem and that is why i want you to watch this video till the end now if you are new to my channel and you haven't subscribed to it then please do so and just hit the bell icon as well because that way you will get notified whenever I release new videos like this and so that you do not miss out on any of the learning. So let's switch to the framework right away. So here we are at our framework where we are going to solve this problem of key palindrome. Now I have uh, my string and uh, here is the reverse of this string which i have put down here why i have put down the reverse this problem is about palindrome and when it comes to palindrome the reverse of a string plays an important role so what i am thinking that if i strive to make these two strings equal by removal of characters I will get the number of characters that need to be removed from both the strings to make them equal. Means I said the same thing, but it is going to at least give me my solution. Look at here, if I try to compare these two strings, then A is going to be compared to A, C will be compared to C, alright, D will be compared to D, C will be compared to C here, A will be compared to A here, but B and E are not going to be compared against each other because comparing one string with its reversal is checking for the palindrome that's the basic program of palindrome is all about right so if i try to make these two strings equal i'm saying it again then i'll get the number of characters which need to be removed from both the string these are the characters which need to be removed from both the strings so there are four characters in total now since this is an abstract version which we are using just to reach to our solution the actual number of characters which need to be removed will be two only let's begin solving this problem from the lowest sub problem and i am going to explain each step in detail so that you understand how we are reaching to that solution so keep watching this video now remember that we are trying to make two strings equal by removing certain characters that's the mindset that you need to keep in order to solve this problem so we are going to first fill the zeroth row and the zeroth column so in order to convert this string into a null string how many removal operations will be required so here i am going to put down zero here in order to convert a into null i will require one removal operation here two removal operations will be required here three four five six seven all right now in order to convert this string equal to the null string how many removal operations will be required it will be the same one two 
थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स एंड सेवन नाउ लेट्स कम हियर ओके सो नाउ वी आर कंपेयरिंग वन स्ट्रिंग टू इट्स रिवर्स टू चेक फॉर द पेलिंड्रोम दैट मीन्स वेन टू कैरेक्टर्स आर इक्वल नो रिमूवल ऑपरेशन इज क्वाड दैट मीन्स आई कैन कीप जीरो ओवर हेयर ओके नाउ द एल्गोरिदम इज गोइंग टू डिराइव द जीरो फ्रॉम हेयर वी आर गोइंग टू सी दैट इन डिटेल वंस वी मूव टू द सेकेंड रो हाउ द एल्गोरिदम इज गोइंग टू कंसिडर पॉपुलेटिंग दिस वैल्यू बट टिल देन वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व दिस यूजिंग कॉमन सेंस ओके नाउ इन ऑर्डर टू कन्वर्ट ए बी इन टू ए हाउ मेनी रिमूवल ऑपरेशन आर रिक्वायर्ड वन ऑल राइट नोट दैट ए एंड बी आर नॉट इक्वल जस्ट कीप अ नोट ऑफ दैट नाउ इन ऑर्डर टू कन्वर्ट ए बी सी इन टू ए इन ऑर्डर टू मेक दीज टू इक्वल हाउ मेनी रिमूवल ऑपरेशन रिक्वायर्ड टू बी एन सी Similarly here three operations are required 4 5 and 6 okay let's come over here now here when we are talking about removal operations then we need to convert ac into a we need to make ac equal to a so how many removal operations required one okay now here let's find out the value now we are going to see in detail how this value is going to be populated all right this sub problem can be derived from two sub problems actually let's see it over here now we are talking about ab and ac since this is a bottom up approach hence we are starting from the lowest sub problem all right so ab and ac can be reached from ab and a or a and ac okay so let's say if we consider ab and a how many removal operations are required one now if we add c to it that means one more removal operation will be re required hence the value here is going to be one plus this one all right that is one of the candidates second candidate if let's consider this sub problem a and ac so here how many operations are required to remove to convert ac into a one we add b to it how many operations will then be required two so that is how we are going to calculate now as you can see this is the value of the sub problem a and ab and this is the value of the sub problem a and ac so adding 1 to it is going to give me 2 okay and we have to consider minimum value out of it why we are considering the minimum value we are going to see it in the next sub problem but here since the values were same hence it made no difference but let's consider this sub problem all right here it is ac and abc now here c and c are equal let's scroll down so here we are considering ab and ac now as you can see c and c are equal hence no removal operation is required but for this sub problem what was the how many removal operations were required one so it's going to come as it is because we have got c and these two characters are same hence only one operation will be required so what we are going to do we are going to simply take the value from this cell this cell holds the value of the sub problem a and ab so i am going to get one over here okay now let's look at this sub problem ab cd and ac so let's scroll below check over here ab cd and ac all right so this is going to be the result of two sub problems one is going to be a b c d and a so how many removal operations are required here to make these two strings equal three all right we add c to it okay so it's going to make the number of removal operations as four but as you can see you consider these two strings it seems illegitimate 
because we have c as equal all right now let's consider the other sub problem so the other sub problem is going to be abc and ac now how many removal operations are required just one all right now adding d to it it is going to give me two now that seems legitimate hence i told you that we have to go for the minimum number of operations the sub problem which is providing us the minimum number of removal operations so we go to our matrix check it here here we had two sub problems a b c d and a which was giving me three adding one to it is going to give me four we already checked that it is illegitimate hence we are going to take this value which is the answer to our sub problem a b c and c so one plus one is going to give me two all right now this is how the algorithm is going to work so whenever there is a match between the two characters it is going to go diagonally backward and bring that value as it is all right like you have seen otherwise if there is no match it is going to take the minimum value out of here and for that particular character it is going to add one to it so here c and e are not matching so the minimum value is two answer is going to be three okay now here c and c are matching so it goes one cell diagonally backward and it brings four over here now c and a are not matching so the minimum value is going to be four add one to it it's going to be five okay we come over here e and a are not matching so it is going to what we are going to do we are going to take the minimum value which is one add one to it it is going to give me two here e and b are not matching so the minimum value is going to be two because both of them are seen the value here is going to be three e and c are not matching the value here is going to be two e and d are also not matching the value is going to be three over here now e and e are matching so i'm going to take this value populate over here okay e and c are not matching so this is going to be three e and a are not matching so this is going to be four now just like i have expanded the sub problem just play with the sub problems and this solution is going to be crystal clear any dynamic pro programming problem if you want to master just expand the sub problems like I have done here and play around with them for some time and you will start understanding it so just with a little bit of guidance by watching the videos of Joey Steg and playing around with the sub problems you can become an expert in dynamic programming problems and crack any technical interview in this world all right now come here d is not equal to a so minimum value is 2 i get 3 over here now d is not equal to p so this is going to give me 4 d is not equal to c so this is going to give me 3 d is equal to d so this is going to give me 2 value from here all right d is not equal to e so this is going to give me 3 d is not equal to c so this is going to give me 4 minimum value is going to be 3 plus 1 4 d is not equal to a so this is going to give me 5 now let's go here all right now c is not equal to a so this is going to give me 4 now c is not equal to p so this is going to give me 5 c is equal to c so i'll slip down this value so i'll get 4 c is not equal to d so this is going to give me 3 now if you check this value then there has to be exactly three removal operations which need to be performed in order to convert this string into this string so as you can see that you need to remove b e and c in order to convert this string into this string so three removal operations coming over here c is not equal to e so it is going to give me 4 
c is equal to c so i'll slip down this value it's going to give me 3 now c is not equal to a so i'm going to put 4 over here now here b is not equal to a so this is going to give me 5 b is equal to b so it is going to give me 4 all right four removal operations are required in order to convert this string into this string then b is not equal to c so this is going to give me five b is not equal to t so this is going to give me four this is this will be five this will be four and this will be five okay coming over here this is going to be six because a and a are equal so it is going to give me six now over here a and b are not equal so this will be five this will be six this will be five this will be six this will be five and here since a and a are equal i'm going to get this value which is four now like i told you here this exercise is going to give me total number of characters which need to be removed in order to make these two strings the string and its reverse as equal okay because this is giving me the palindrome all right see the magic here so four is the number of characters but in reality i am just removing two characters because this is the abstract version so what my answer is going to be my answer is going to be 4 divided by 2 which is going to give me 2 now this is equal to my k k was 2 in the problem statement so this string is a k palindrome all right now since we have found the answer let's check the algorithm so this is uh, our algorithm if str1 i minus 1 is equal to str2 j minus 1 then dpij is going to be the value of the cell which is diagonally backward else dpij is going to be 1 plus minimum of the value of the cell on the top and the value of the cell on the left so with this we have come to the end of this video i hope you enjoyed watching this video i hope you like this video a humble request to solve this problem to do this problem to practice this problem on pen and paper on your own just by expanding the sub problems and you will understand it properly i hope you learned from this video do give it a thumbs up i look so much forward to help you with programming and algorithms and only for this video goodbye